We finally have a proper fence, you guys. Check it out. I just want to remind you guys what the before looked right here. So here is the before, and here is what it looks like now. Hey, farm fam. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome, and welcome to today's vlog. So as you guys know in uh, my past previous couple of vlogs, we have been working around the property, cleaning it up, fencing, and we moved the chicken coop, and now it is time for me to pressure wash the chicken coop and get it ready for painting, and hopefully, fingers crossed in this video, I will be painting the chicken coop, and we are also finishing up on some fencing, and I think after today's vlog, it's gonna look really good, we're gonna have some major progress. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. If you guys are excited for today's video, excited to see the progress that we make on the farm, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if you chance to my post notification, shout out. All right, you guys, let's get right into this vlog. So we don't need to feed the horses today because we already fed them, so we don't need to feed them in this video. Not that we don't need to feed them. We need to feed them every day. <laughs> but I got all my stuff in the side-by-side -side right now. I have the pressure washer hose. And we're bringing Dinky some hay. She desperately wants to get out of the cow pasture, I think. They're just not her people, you know? Like, I think she just really likes to be with the horses or the goats. Like, I think she's just bored with them. So, that's where I'm headed. We're headed over to that pasture now. And if you guys haven't seen my last couple vlogs of us working on the property, make sure you guys go watch those um, so that you guys can uh, get caught up with this. So, the back fence, so you guys saw my last video, is done working on the side of it now. So Mike will be working on that while I will be pressure washing the chicken coop. Um, as you guys know, we moved it right here. It's super cute and I have lots of cute plans for it. So we need to pressure wash it to get it ready for paint. Come on, Dinky. We're trying to give Dinky some hay. Dinky is in the stall <laughs> over here next to the pigs eating her hay. I wonder what she thinks of those piggies. So the coop is fully pressure washed. It looks so good. I'm gonna try to see if I can find something before I paint it, like a bonding agent of some sort for this metal, because this is where Moose made a huge hole in it when we first got it, so we put it back there. But he's also made like some holes here, which this one's not terribly too bad. Um, I actually think that there's like another type of material here, so it's not getting into the coop, but here it is, so. There's just a couple things, and then I am gonna look at some new windows for this, because Moose broke this window. And I do like the option of having them closed, because I was thinking maybe I can just take the actual like window panes off and just leave it like that. But sometimes when we have hurricanes or things like that, I like the option to close those. So I don't know. So I'm gonna try to find that first before we paint it. But the coop is officially all nice and pressure washed. It looks really good. It really just needed a good pressure washing anyways. So I think it looks really good. And while I have the pressure washer over here, I just kind of inspired to just pressure wash the front of this because we replaced this wood, if you guys don't remember, not even like a year ago. Maybe it actually has been a year, but it's already like this again. I think I might seal it this time around afterward. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm gonna just give it a quick pressure washing. Nothing too intricate. I don't wanna scare the pigs. So here it is completely pressure wash. I didn't do like that great of a job because it's just wood. It's kind of hard to tell if you're even getting it off, but it looks a lot less greener. Now we have to just block all the pigs into here because we are starting on the back of like the fence where the pig pen is. So we are gonna have to block all the pigs in here. Stewie, go in there. Good boy. Come on, Stewie. Go on. Stewie, go. Come on, buddy. Go in there. Okay, one more pig. Waffle, come on. Come on, little guy. Good boy, good boy. All the pigs are in. Everybody is in here. <laughs> they realize that they are trapped. But that's all right, it's not for long. It's just so they don't escape. So this is what I was talking about. And this is the contraption we have over there. It's keeping the pigs in, but it's just temporary. Because as you can see, we need to put a new post here for a new brace. So then, this is new fence. Bye bye, pose. 
it's been many hours now and this side of the fence is almost up all the posts are in the wire is about to go up and then we will have finally the back pasture will be fenced again we've been working super hard um it looks like it's gonna rain i keep saying that every day i feel like it's gonna rain so one of these days it's gonna rain i promise but um, we're hoping, fingers crossed, that we have this up and then we can kind of open this back pasture up for the cows and the donkey and see how that goes. And then tomorrow um, we'll just finish that like ugly fence, that the ugly fence that's by the cow pasture. Yeah, that one, which I cannot wait for. So I'm super excited about that. But I'm gonna check back in with you guys when this fence is completely done. And we finally have a fence, you guys. Just have to finish stapling it, but we have a fence. Storm is coming in and we have some things that we really need to do tonight so we can get the cows to be able to be back here and we just need to close this gap up but we do plan to try to break this down so then tomorrow we can just get right to work but to be able to break this down we obviously had to make sure this fence was done and then in that opening hole all the way back there where in my last vlog I told you we were putting a gate we have to just put that gate in tonight we just really need to cross our fingers that it doesn't rain on us. Yay, we have a gate. It looks so good now, this whole fence line. It just obviously looks complete. So it looks really cool. There it is, the back fence completely done with a gate. Now it's time to take this down. So here's the before, the dreaded ugly before. And then we are gonna clear it and you guys will see the after. This is what I'm so excited for. If you guys are excited for this to go right now, give me a big thumbs up because this is gonna look really good. It is about eight o'clock. Kinky! Hey girl, you got your back pasture back, but you're still with these guys. Sorry. We put some hay out for them just to keep them distracted. Hi, baby girl. She's like, I like being back here better. And I cannot believe how good this is looking, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'll do a better um, after tomorrow morning when it's daylight out, but still, so you guys can see it now. The fence line is clear for the first time since we've lived here in two years. It was covered in pepper bush and then we cleared it enough to be able to see it. And now this is where we're at, completely rootless, stumpless of all the pepper bush. So exciting, it looks so good. It, would be it is day two of this vlog. We just got done feeding the horses. We got a earlier start today, which is good. For us because we have a lot to do today so i'm over here feeding the pigs good morning piggies so the pigs are still stuck in here because we have it wide open so they're eating they're figuring it out anyways i want to show you guys really quick the result of my pressure washing and i think it looks really good this is how it looks dry so there's no more green on it so it looks really good nice and fresh and here is what it looks like all cleared in the daylight so you guys saw last night when we were just clearing it then. So this is what it officially looks like in the daytime. It looks awesome. It looks really big. I mean, it is a really big area. What's up, Jolene? So this is it, wide open. And the pig's pen is now wide open as well. As we can see. It just has the fencing over there still, but all right here is open because we are refencing this whole thing today. So this is gonna look really good. I'm super excited. So main goals of today is to get this fence done completely because we need to let the pigs out. They are doing fine actually being in there together. They're learning to love each other on a whole new level. So they're actually doing a lot better than I thought they were going to do. Um, and then also is majorly getting this pasture completely done. This is the last fence that um, needs to be done until the goats can come out. And I've been feeling so bad because for the past three days, the goats have been in their pen, which is not terrible, um, but I feel bad that they can't roam around and I know that they wanna roam around. So we just couldn't have them out here because the fence obviously was wide open. So now that today we can finally have this done, the pigs will be able to come back out and the goats will be able to come back out. And the cows, they've been loving this back pasture. They're hardly ever allowed back here, but since it's been wide open, They've had the whole back pasture. They're right there eating right now. And when I came out here this morning, they were laying in the middle of this back pasture. So they didn't even mind to come over to their normal pasture. So that's the goal. Get these cows back over there and then allow for the 
goats to come back over here and the pigs out. The fence is going up. So like I said, main goal was getting this fence up and all the posts are in. We're just stretching the wire now. We still have to run barbed wire on all of the fencing, but it still works for now. So that's what we're gonna do next, just like the last minute stuff. And then I was really working hard in this pasture here. This is the pig pasture, as you guys know. And all of this was covered in pepper tree. So that's what these are. And we kind of left this one for the pigs to rub on and just have that like natural element in there. But these ones we want to remove now that there's more pigs in here. They do like to like run around. So just to get this out of their way. So when we first cleared this, we had a lot of branches in here and such. And the pigs have uncovered a lot more branches. So I put them into piles. So I have like one, two, three, four five six piles in here actually there's a seventh pile right there i've just been raking it up so i didn't tear up the grass that they have left over but with all the branches down the grass wasn't growing through so i'm hoping now that we will clear these all up mike's gonna bring the skid steer in here when we clear these all up then when summer comes around we have rainy season that will really be able to um, let the grass grow back because i want them to always have grass to munch on so I figured while they weren't out here, while it was wide open, that I clean up their pasture and then we are gonna take these two out momentarily. But it looks so good right now. It just looks so much cleaner. We finally have a proper fence, you guys. Check it out. This is the second pallet fence in this series of us working on our fences to go. We have one more pallet fence and it's all the way up there. <laughs> and what I mean by pallet fence, is that the pallets are being used as a fence. So, just like it sounds. We got rid of this one. We got rid of the one all the way in the back that was um, covering some holes in the woods. And this one looks so good. I'm so happy about this. This is super satisfying because this is all of our first time seeing it completely cleared, no pepper trees, no stumps or anything like that, and an actual fence, so it looks really good. My chicken right there, she's making a mess of my pile that I've just put together. Why are you messing up my pile, chicken? Why are you doing that, chicken? She's like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Nothing to see here. Anyways, you guys, I just want to remind you guys what the before look right here. So here is the before. It was overgrown. There wasn't even a real fence here. It was just caught up in the pepper bush. And here is what it looks like now. We gained a bit of pasture here. The round pen I'm assuming will go right back here, but the round pen had to be like offset because all of the brush, as you guys just saw, it wasn't really like usable. So it stuck farther out from the fence. So we'll be able to put the round pen back where it goes and it won't be taking up too much of our pasture. So I'm really excited about this and it's just like a designated area for the round pen. So very excited. And look at all of these pigs. It is nap time for the pigs. It appears they're all getting along. This is a great little experiment for them all to love each other once again. He's bringing over these really long two by sixes so that we can line the bottom of the pig pen. We started to do that over there, but just as like a makeshift thing because the pigs were digging underneath it. We never had this problem with Stewie or Mr. Pig, but with the little pigs, as you guys saw in my last vlog, they love to escape. So this is a must in this pen. And we just put new wire. We don't want the pigs to loosen up the wire. So we have to nail these boards in so the pigs don't get out. The stumps are gone. It's looking so good. This one will eventually come out, you guys, because even just like pushing on it, it's breaking. But for now, I want to keep it until we come up with something else. I don't know. But it looks so good. It looks a lot cleaner now. There's hardly any sticks on the ground. I just think it looks really good. We'll eventually dig out their pond a little bit more. We were just talking about it. And this is what it looks like. We ended up putting the boards on the other side. It just looks better. So here's what this looks like. And then we have just one that we need to put right there. And then this, we're not really touching this because we are going to be eventually doing the whole fence all the way forward. So for now, it's gonna stay like this because we don't really have time to undo this whole pig pen again. We really need to get the pigs out. So probably in a couple of weeks, we'll redo this whole fence as well, as well as the front, just so it all looks uniform and we'll get a different gate. So we don't have to use pallets for those anymore, but those pallets are staying for now. 
because the pigs obviously like to leave out of that gate. But when we redo this, we will get a new gate that has wire on it already. So it'll look really nice and uniform. And then last thing that we have to do after we put that board in the back is just put our wire right here. All right, piggies, your pen is done once again. It was just a little mild construction for just a full day. Not too bad, just one night. We are opening up their pen again, like I just told them. I see their entrance is completely open. Go check it out. Not much is really different, technically. Get out, nerds. <laughs> Be nice to them. Yay, they absolutely love being out here. And it probably looks just like a lot nicer of a view for them since it's all cleared and we've just cleaned up the place a lot for them. They love being out here. Lots of fun for the baby piglets, but now they won't be able to escape, thankfully. And voila, we are finally done with our pen. It's back in working condition. It looks so good. Pretty much the same exact design as before, but actual like real posts. We had those, just like that post, like those little timber posts. We just wanted it to all look the same and be really strong. So now it is. It is day three of this vlog, you guys. This has been a long one for me. And we are very exhausted at this point because we've been fencing every day now for a total of four days. Today's our fifth day. Yeah, we started on a Thursday, so we did Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now today's Monday. Now the plan for today is the back fence of our like dog pasture. So this is what's getting corrected today. This one should only need like some minor adjustments. Um, we are gonna be replacing all the wire, but these posts are pretty much gonna stay. We're just straightening them, so we're hoping that the skid steer will do most of the work for us. And then right here, we're finally, instead of using this panel that we've had, we've had this panel here for so long, we are finally fixing this, and we're putting a gate in right here. So it's gonna be a lot better, and we're getting rid of our last um, <laughs> pallet fence because it's finally going to be a good working fence. We officially have no back fence. You guys have never seen it like this. Well, maybe you have. Actually, I don't remember now. When we moved in, we did this fence like literally the day of moving in. So I don't know if I vlogged that or not, but here it is wide open. Looks really cool. Let's go farther back. There we go. Looks really cool. How neat would it be if I could just keep it all open, but that's not possible because of Penelope. So, and actually I would have horses um, coming up to my back slider and I don't want that. So, so it's definitely getting refenced. This fence is also completely taken out by the barn, but we are now, all the holes are dug and it is time to start to re-put all of our posts in. Finally finished. We have a fence for our dogs again. We just have to put like the top boards on top of the fence again, just to make it all look normal. I don't know if we're gonna get to that in this vlog because we still have to go run and get those boards. Look, it's a little wild Stella. Stella girl. Anyways, here's this as well. And we finally have a gate out to this pasture. Looks so awesome. So we just need a three board right here and we're gonna three board the rest of this as well. It's coming along so nicely. So excited about this. It is day four and here is the finale of this fence area right here. It looks so good, you guys. This is exactly what I pictured it to look like. We've never seen it look like this before in the entire time of having this property. This is exactly what I envisioned when we drew up the original plans of the barn. So it's three board here. We have a gate, which is so functional now. And then this right here. We have a little bit left to finish, but we will in another vlog. But this is what it looks like. I love it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And finally, if you guys see all the way back there, we have our round pen set up finally. It's no longer being used as a fence. So crazy, so excited to use it again. And it looks so good over there without the overgrown pepper trees. It's just so exciting to see. It's all coming together and I love it. But you guys, that is it for this vlog. This is probably one of the longest like vlogs that I filmed and not by time length, but by like days. I don't think I've ever vlogged this many days in a row in one video. So, this is very exciting for me. But if you guys like this video, if you guys like seeing us work all around our farm and you wanna see more of these videos, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if you my post notification shout out today, shout out goes to all right, you guys. I love you and we'll see you in the next one.